Assalamualaikum and very good day to all of you. Today, our group will present the assignment 2 SMA 3043 Element 3 Number Theory, which is Cryptology. Okay, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Before that, I want to introduce my group member, which is me, Muhammad Mohaimin bin Muhammad Misbah, and my second group member is Ahmad Isha bin Zekorai, and the third is Andre Elwana Joliti, and the fourth is Andre Albertus. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go to the introduction of cryptology. Okay, for the introduction of the cryptology. Okay, cryptology is actually a study of a secure communication technique that enables a message content to only be viewed by a sender and a recipient. Okay, actually, uh, cryptography is a from Greek word, cryptos, meaning hidden, and graphens, meaning to write. In cryptology, you need to know the cryptography language. There are five cryptography languages. First is the cheapers, which is a, which means a code. And the second is plain text, is a information to be a council, concealed. And, and cheaper text is a message after transformation to a secret form. Okay, for the first is inscripting or interpreting is the process of converting from plain text to the cheaper text. Okay, for the fifth is a descripting or decipherring is the reverse process of changing from the cheaper text back to the plain text. In this diagram, we will see the inscription and description process. Okay, in inscription process, we see the plain text will be converted to the cheaper text, and in description process, it will we will see the cheaper text will convert to the plain text with use of the public key. Okay, next we go to application cryptology in real life. Okay, for the first application is electronic money. Actually, electronic money is also called electronic cash or digital cash. And it includes transactions carried out electronically with, it, with a net transfer of funds one party to another, which may be either debit or credit, and can be either anonymous or identified. The process of electronic money is end-to-end -end inscription, make that the message that is sent is received only by an intended recipient and none other. For the second application, is a social media. Social media such as WhatsApp use a cryptography to protect the user data. WhatsApp uses a signal protocol for inscription which uses a combination of the asymmetric and symmetric key cryptography algorithm. In symmetric key cryptography, a single key is used for inscription of the data as well as the description. In asymmetric key cryptography, there will be two separate keys. The data which be encrypted using the public key of a user can only be encrypted using the private key of the user and vice versa. For the last application is encryption and description in email. Email encryption is a method of securing the content of email from anyone outside of the email conversation looking to obtain a participant information. In its encrypted form, an email is so no longer readable by human. Only with your private email key can your email be unlocked and decrypted back into the original message. When an email is sent, it is encrypted by a computer using a public key and the content of the email are turned into the compact. The public key cannot be used to decrypt the sent message only to encrypt it. Only the person with the proper corresponding private key has the ability to describe the email and read its contents. Next, the cryptology that we are going to explain is about the Caesar cipher and a fine cipher. The Caesar cipher, also known as a ship cipher, is a simple method encrypting a message. It is a type of substitution cipher where each letter in the original message is replaced with a letter corresponding to a certain number of letters shifted up or down in the alphabet. A scissor cipher with a shift of 1, 1 will encode an A as a B, an M as an N, and a Z as A, and so on. The method name of the Roman leader Julius Caesar who used it in his private correspondence. A message that initially was quite readable ends up in a form that cannot be understood at a simple glance. For example, in the picture below, we can see 
that is a safer sizer with a shape of three. So the plan text is the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The cipher text cannot be read, which is Q E B N R F Z H Y O L T K C L U G R J M P L S B O Q E B R X W B A L D. The scissor cipher can be expressed in the following more mathematical form as below. For example, in encryption, the formula is E N X equal to X plus N mod 26. So the encryption of a letter X is equal to a shift of X plus N, where N is the number of letters shifted. The result of the process is then taken under modular division, essentially meaning that if a letter is shifted past the end of the alphabet, it wraps around the beginning. While decryption, the formula is DNX equal to X minus N modulus 26. The decryption of a letter X is equal to a shift of X minus N, where N is the number of letters shifted. Decryption of the encrypted text will be carried out similarly, subtracting the shift amount. Next, we are going to see some examples on encryption and decryption of Caesar cipher. The first example is the encryption for Caesar cipher. The question is, use the Caesar cipher with shift of 3 to encrypt the message we write at noon. Firstly, we have to represent each alphabet, in other words, plan text with a number or plan value, which helps in the encryption process as we need a value to be substituted in the formula. The solution is, by using e and x equals to x plus n modulo 26, where n equals to 3 as shift of 3 was mentioned in the question, the first plan text is w. By referring to the representation table, w can be represented into a plan value 22. By using the formula, 22 plus 3 modulo 26 equals to 25, and 25 represents letter Z as the cipher text. The process continues until all plain texts are encrypted to cipher text. As we completed the encryption process, we obtain a message which is ZH ULGH DW Q R R Q. But in encryption, it is usually represented in block of three characters as follows. Next, we move on to the other example for decryption process of scissor cipher. The question is decrypt the message GZD KNK YDX MFW JXA if it was encrypted using a shift cipher with a shift of 5. So, the solution is by using DNX equals to X minus N modulo 26 with N equals to 5 as shift of 5 was mentioned in the question, the first cipher text is G. By referring to the representation table, G can be represented into a plan value of 6. By using the formula, 6 minus 5 modulo 26 equals to 1, and 1 represents letter B as the plan text. The process continues until all cipher texts are decrypted to plan text. The congruence theory are involved throughout the process, especially for cipher text DNA in this example. This, the decrypted message is BUI, FIF, TYS, HAR, ESV, which can be rearranged, and the original message is by 50 shares. Appears an extra character V in the decrypted message, as the encrypted message earlier have to be in a group of three. A fine cipher. The affine cipher is another example of monoalphabetic substitution cipher. It's slightly different to the other examples encountered here, since the encryption process is substantially mathematical. The whole process relies on working modular M. By performing a calculation on the plain text letter, we cipher the plain text. For the encryption, the first step 
in encryption process is to transform each of the letters in the plain text alphabet to the corresponding integer in the range 0 to m minus 1. With this done, the encryption process for each letter is given by ex equal to ax plus b mod m, where a and b are the key for the cipher. This means that we multiply our integral value for the plain text letter by a and then add b to the result. Finally, we take this modulus m. For the decryption, in deciphering the ciphertext, we must perform the opposite function on the ciphertext to retrieve the plain text. Once again, the first step is to convert each of the ciphertext letter into their integral values. We must now perform the following calculation on each integer. So the formula is dx equal to cx minus b mod m or e to the power of minus 1x where c is the modular multiplicative inverse of a that is a times c equal to 1 mod m hello everyone my name is audrey elwana joliti with metric number d201910885488 and now i will proceed with the examples of a fine chipper the first example is about encryption in a fine chipper the question is use a fine chipper to encrypt the plain text playground using the key a equals to 3 and b equals to 7 for the solution we know that the equation of a fine chipper is ex equals to ax plus b mod 26 with key pair a b then we substitute the key pair value to the equation then we get ex equals to 3x plus 7 mod 26 with key pair 37 the table shows the standard values of 26 alphabets from a to b it also starts from 0 to 25 by referring the standard values, we make a table with two columns where the first column contains plan text x, 3x plus 7, 3x plus 7 mod 26, and cheaper text. The first row is actually the plan text that is playground. Put each letter in the first row and then find each x by referring the standard values table. Next, calculate 3x plus 7 and 3x plus 7 mod 26 with the x. And then, the final number will be obtained and we will refer to standard values table once again. Therefore, the message playground is encrypt to AOHBZGXPUQ. The second example is about decryption in a fine chipper. The question is, using a fine chipper, decrypt the plain text OPQZSGUN using the key A5 and B9. The solution is, since EX equals to AX plus B mod 26 with key pair AB, we need to find the inverse of encryption formula which is DX. First, let EX equals to Y, then Y equals to AX plus B mod 26, Y minus B equals to AX mod 26, AX equals to Y minus B mod 26, and put A inverse to the both side, and you will get X equals to A inverse Y minus B mod 26. Then, we get DX equals to 5 inverse y minus b mod 26 key pair 5 9 to find 5 inverse we use yellow pi function where we find the gcd of 26 and 5 using the equation of gcd 26 equals to 5 times 5 plus 1 5 equals to 5 times 1 plus 0 so we get gcd equals to 1 next 1 equals to negative 5 times 5. Therefore, 5 inverse equals to negative 5. By referring the standard values, we also can find its inverse by starting from z, that is negative 1, and so on. 
So in the inverse row, negative 5 will be equal with 21. Then, we substitute 21 in 5 inverse in the new equation we obtained earlier. Next, make a table as in example 1, but the first column will contain cheaper text, y, 21, y minus 9, 21, y minus 9, mod 26, and plan text. Substitute the cheaper text in the first row, and then calculate each y by referring the standard table. Then, calculate 21, y minus 9, and 21, y minus 9, mod 26. Next, the final number will be obtained and we will refer to the standard values once again. Hence, Hence the cheaper text OPQZSGUN is decrypted to BWRYHLXG.